Okay, uh, that was the K2. Here's the regen. Wait for them to start pulling CQ again. That signal, by the way, was S1 on the K2. Here he is. And on the K2. Oh, just missed him. Just missed him. Here he is. And on the regen. So, I don't know if you heard that, but basically, um, most signals I can copy on the K2, I can copy on the regen, except for really marginal signals. Here we go. And the K2. Wait for him to start calling again. Let's go to the regen. So I think you get the idea. What I've noticed is that with extremely marginal signals, I mean, with signals that are about S1, uh, you know, or that are, you know, have that kind of signal to noise ratio, um, you can copy them on the WBR. Um, but with signals that are really, really marginal, the K2 has the, uh, you know, has the uh, edge, as you'd expect. And, um, of course, what the K2 also has, I mean, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, I think I might have mentioned it, but in this video, uh, I put the K2 on the widest filter, uh, on the SSB filter, as a r rough comparison, because obviously the WBR is wide, the regen is wide open, it's even wider than an SSB filter, it's probably like 10 kilohertz wide or something. Um, but of course, the K2 has a full complement of, uh, you know, the, the adjustable filter and uh, extra audio filtering and things like that. So, of course, it'll, it'll have the edge, uh, especially in crowded conditions. But as far as sensitivity goes, the, this WBR, anyway, is, I would say, almost as sensitive as a decent superhead. Not quite, um, for various reasons. But it's pretty good. It's not bad. Hope you enjoyed this video.